Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now, with news of a ratings downgrade for both South Canterbury Finance and Marrick Finance. They've been downgraded from triple B minus, which is viewed as investment grade, to double B plus, which is seen as junk. Standard & Poor's is worried about their exposures to the property market, and it's particularly worried about South Canterbury's related party lending to its owner, Alan Hubbard. Both of them are going to have to raise fresh capital to keep Standard & Poor's happy and act to actually stave off further ratings downgrades. There's that old saying that when you owe the bank $100, that's a problem for you. When you owe the bank $100 million, that's a problem for the bank. Well, this is actually a problem for the government because of the deposit guarantee scheme. Both of these companies owe debenture holders around about $2 billion. And if they're not in a good shape by October next year, there is the risk the government may have to pay out to depositors. Meanwhile, overseas, the 30-year bond auction in the United States, we're all watching this closely, was surprisingly strong, partly because of poor retail sales numbers coming out of the States. However, Germany and France came up with surprise rises in GDP. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 1989, brought to you in association with ASB.